most important A code is agreement. And so I went to the Ten Commandments because there seems to be an agreement of the power within the energy that each of the Ten Commandments represent, that there is an incredible integrity in how basic and simple those Ten Commandments create emotions within us that build to a social agreement that we can all use to find freedom from as long as we keep these agreements in order. And the first one is about self-interest. Ironically, the most powerful enlightenment of what the first commandment could possibly mean came from watching West Wing when Martin Sheen as President Bartlett entered a room where there was a religious argument and somebody referred to the first commandment and someone else asked what is the first commandment and that's when he made his entrance saying I am the Lord thy God, thou shalt have no other God before me. And for the first time I saw the self-interest. I am the Lord thy God, have no self-interest before me. And so you take responsibility for the world that you see. You are the creator in the sense that all you see is a projection of your values. Even God's values are a projection of yours. And so you have to remember that the first commandment is how you are related to your God as the primary I, portal of interpretation. And so the second one, of having no graven images alludes to the power of reproduction. How we reproduce a value in money that has created a slavery to the graven image. And so the second commandment could quite potentially mean that money is against the basic principle of how we find God and understand good. And so it is critical that we balance an appreciation for money with the energy that it truly represents of creativity and care for our relationships with others. And so those basic two are as far as we should go now.